I'm a beautiful family to another of my videos. It's very early in the morning, not so early, but I'm very tired. I still drink my coffee. I'm here again to try another foundation today. This is like a foundation week or something. Uh, I love, tr love trying new foundations and this foundation kind of got my attention for a couple of uh, months ago. And I didn't bought it because um, it's, a, it's a little bit upper price. Sounds amazing, but the shade range is not the best. It was very hard for me on the website to kind of figure out what shade I will choose. And I couldn't afford to buy two or three shades. But also, uh, there were no reviews on YouTube to kind of figure it out. But eventually, I really want to try. But after a couple of months now, I really want to try this foundation. Uh, it sounds very, very good. So I contacted them on Instagram. They were so nice. I sent them a picture. They told me what shades I could choose. And I did that. So I chose shade Brave. I will put information down below. They were very, very kind. And um, I'm happy to try it. So I swatched it. It's a little bit darker than the, <clears throat> uh, the foundation that I tried yesterday. What was that? Uh, yes, Uma foundation that I tried yesterday, and um, I like that one. But this is Base of Sweden, the brand. Waterproof full coverage foundation. Flawless matte finish with SPF 30. This promise a lot. It says, oh, I need my glasses. I can't read small text without my glasses, so let me put them on. So it says, the base intelligent coverage the base intelligent cover system creates a flawless complexion with ultra buildable coverage from a natural nude finish to high coverage perfection. The unique base of Sweden formula is made uh, climate or climate adaptive to resistant sweat and humidity without clogging the, your pores. Can be used on face or body up to 72 hours. Comfortable wear that is transfer resistant. It says 72 comfortable, hours comfortable wear. I, can't, I won't try that for that long, but it contains vitamin E. It's paraben free. It's vegan, cruelty free. And it has to be very, very good. It's made in Italy. And to application, shake before use, clean area, well, um, apply base layer, blend well. And then to use to light coverage, it's uh, use your fingers to gently dab one layer of foundation massage into the face. I don't like using my fingers, but we will try that today. To medium coverage, uh, coverage set a bit before adding more products. You have to, if you put a layer on, you have to leave it for a couple of, I don't know, maybe a minute or two just to let it, the product or the base dry down before you go to the, with the second layer with a sponge or a brush. Uh, and then for full coverage, apply up to three layers of the base, add more product to areas that need more coverage and enjoy your lasting, enjoy long lasting smooth effect. And to remove, so this is not very easy to remove. So to remove the product, we recommend using the customized formula, the base remover. I don't have that one. I didn't want to buy that if I, I really want to try out the foundation before I go and buy more products from that that brand but they are very nice uh, very easy to contact them no problems so nice to help me choose a foundation and um, I will put all the information down below I'm very excited I love trying new brands I really love supporting new brands especially the brands that are very nice and kind and also cruelty free so uh, I did moisturize my skin I used my medical refining moisturizer that pore minimize and lightweight hydration. That's it's true. It's a little bit expensive, but it did min minimize my pores. And I'm going to use my Veil Hourglass Primer. They did say to me to moisturize and to use a primer before I go in with the foundation. I saw one review on YouTube, a Swedish girl that reviewed this product. She tried to use it and she didn't like it. So the, she didn't use it the whole day. It looked, I think she said cake on her, but you know, products are like hit or miss. For some people it works great, for some people it doesn't work. 
I always like to try it on my skin before I say anything. I found a couple of products that didn't work for other people work great for me and the products that work for other people don't work for me. Which is strange, but that is what it is. So I did use that and I do need my pore primer too. So Tarte pore primer. Get rid of these pores. And I'm going to use my fingers on one side. So while I apply my moisturizer, while I apply this uh, primer and let it sit for a couple of minutes and you're interested to see me review this product, then please keep on watching. So I didn't apply a lot of it. I'm, I feel like I'm all over the place today. I'm tired, I didn't sleep well. Some of our, our neighbors had a big party yesterday to three in the morning and I couldn't sleep. The music was terrible, not my taste. They like it, so. But my t I didn't like the music, so I couldn't sleep. And I'm so tired, but I have so many things to do today. My son is starting school, the youngest, and he's so nervous preschool and he's so nervous so we are going to buy some new clothes and bag and pen and everything that he needs so I'm very excited because I love buying new school products I'm a teacher so <laughs> I know the feeling so I just put a little bit of the primer on my face I'm not going to use a lot of eyeshadow today we are here to focus on the foundation. So I'm going to shake it very well. well. And I did swatch it uh, when I received it for two days ago and it looked good. So, And I have combo skin. So I'm going to put, it's kind of thick cons consistency, but I, I like that. So I'm going to dab some of the product. You know me that I do like to go a little bit darker on my foundation. So we're going to use the fingers on this side. It's a little bit darker than I would maybe like it, but we can make it work. I just don't like using my fingers to apply makeup, but... Oh, I applied a little bit too much right now. It dries down very fast, though. I don't know, I feel like I didn't blend it very well with the fingers. So I'm going to use the brush for the next side. These kind of full coverage, long lasting products are a little bit tricky to work with. You do need sometimes to maybe mix, mix it with a face oil or a moisturizer or another product that you use to get it the way you want it. It's Applying very nice with this brush. I'm going to use a little bit more. I feel like that wasn't. I feel like it worked a little bit better with the brush. Thin layer looks nice. I mean, I'm not happy with the coverage because I do like full coverage foundations. Um, but I'm going to let it sit. So far, it's looking okay. Uh, definitely minimize my pores. Definitely. But I do want to go in with the brush again on this side because I feel like it wasn't really even. It doesn't feel heavy. They do say on um, one of their videos where they talk about this product that it dries down and it's definitely going to stay there, but it feels moisturizing 
or hydrating during the whole day, which is a kind of strange feeling because you'll probably then think that it's going to be everywhere on your clothes and everyone you hug and it's going to move on your face but it's they say it's not going to do that but it's going to hydrate your skin the whole day and that sounds good i mean i it dried down i kind of like how it feels it feels moisturizing on the skin though it feels like you have something but it doesn't it's it feels matte Let's go in again with a layer on the brush. Yes, the brush is nice. Dries down very fast though. So, oh, got some in my hair. So we're going to use a brush here on this side. And I want to go in with a beauty blend on the other side just to see. Definitely looking strange on my forehead now. It feels like I didn't let it sit enough on this side. And it does look a little bit cakier. I'm going to leave it and I want to go in with the sponge on the other side. Um, maybe I didn't leave it enough to dry down. Let's go in with the beauty blender. Yeah, I, I prefer beauty blender. You do get more coverage with the brush. So I'm going to work this on my skin now and I'll be back when I finish blending everything to tell you what I think about it, how it looks. So give me a couple of minutes to make this work and Um, um, this foundation is tricky. It, I don't like how it looks here. It looks cakey and heavy, but I feel like it's because I didn't let the first layer dry down. Uh, I like how it feels on the skin. It feels lightweight. It did minimize my pores a lot. I don't really, like on this side, it looks better than on this side where I went with a brush. I went maybe too hard with the brush. And I did apply two layers and I then went over with more product on the parts where I felt I needed more coverage. Uh, and I did blend it down on the neck and that was very easy. It dries down very fast. I think this would be good to kind of mix it with a oil, face oil. Uh, though the foundation, Uma foundation also looked a little bit drying on my skin. But after maybe a two hours when my oils start coming through, it blended beautifully with my skin and it looks looked better I know um, I know maybe you, some of you think that you didn't don't want to um, you want foundation to kind of work immediately and look flawless I agree with you but sometimes if you're going to have a foundation that is going to stay there and I do need my foundation to stay on play stay flawless for at least 12 13 hours because I'm around people, I work full time, it takes me a lot to pick up my children from school and come back home and then I sometimes we go grocery grocery shopping. So I do want my makeup to stay on the whole day. Uh, and if this is going to give that to me, but I do need to work with it a little bit more, I can, uh, you see, I just messed it up more. Uh, I can see past that. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and um, I don't know if I'm going to set it maybe a little bit with the powder, the concealer, just I don't, I don't feel like I need to set the foundation. I'm going to finish the makeup. I don't like this part at all, but I'm definitely going to wear it again tomorrow. So this is going to be immediately, not the first. Um, I want to wear it tomorrow again and mix it a little bit with my moisturizer to see if that is going to work a little bit better. I'm not hating it. It does look a little bit cakey here and up here, but it looks flawless on this part of the face. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to do a concealer. What concealer am I going to wear today? Maybe Juve. Let's use that one. We'll see. Maybe. 
we'll see if that is going to work. It dries down very fast though. You see, now it removed where I put the concealer on here. The foundation is totally gone. Why did it do that? I need to look. The foundation is gone here when I apply the concealer. And on the chin. Oh, this doesn't work. But it didn't happen on the eyes. This is not good. This definitely doesn't like to play with other cream products. So I won't go in with my creamy blush that I thought that I'm going to use. <sighs> this looks terrible. So guys, I'm back. It's 11.07 and you're going to think that I'm strange, okay? I hate and love this foundation, I need to say. Uh, the rest of the powder product went on smoothly, perfect, no problem at all. It blended flawless, it was easy. I do have a little bit of Huda Beauty Desert of Dusk palette on my eyes and um, some other products. I love how this foundation looks on my cheeks, here, upper forehead, down here, down here, I love how it looks. I hate how it looks here on my nose and on my chin where I applied a couple of dots of the concealer and when I start blending it, it kind of disappears. So it does look like a very cakey part up here, looks a little bit cakey here because I tried to cover the spot and it looks heavy here. Everywhere else, my pores on the eye area looks good, beautiful. The rest of the forehead, everything here looks flawless, looks beautiful, love it. Uh, on the eye area looks also very good. Just this part, my T-zone. So, I feel like my skin is moisturized. It feels very, very it feels healthy on the skin. And this is a tricky foundation, so I'm definitely going to play with it a little bit more because I do love how it looks on the rest of my face. So, I'm definitely going to wear this again tomorrow and try it out. Uh, I'm going to wear it the whole day. So it's 11 o'clock, I'm going to go shopping and uh, probably hope nobody will hug me today so I don't show my bo <laughs> bad parts. <laughs> But everything else looks pretty good. I like how it looks around the nose here. I really love that. My pores are minimized. Um, that has to do with the primers too. But I do love how it looks on the rest of my face. I just hate where I destroyed it in the beginning. Maybe I didn't. I, maybe I applied too much makeup there and I didn't let it dry enough. I don't know because it looks good on the eyes where I applied the concealer. And I'm going to wear it. Uh, I don't want to give up on products very easy because I do believe that this will work. They were so nice, people behind this brand are so nice and um, I really want to make this work because I do think this will be perfect for Swedish weather. I need to go. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Hi guys, it's actually 10 o'clock at night. I forgot my phone to show you guys, but believe me, it's 10 o'clock at night. And I forgot to do a check-in. I was just about to remove my makeup when I realized that I have makeup on that I'm going to review. So, the foundation. Um, base of Sweden foundation. Lightweight. I can't even feel it that I have it on my skin. I didn't look at myself in the mirror a lot. I didn't touch up. I was shopping. I was trying on clothes. Taking my clothes off. Taking clothes on. All day I thought that my makeup is going to be like a mess and when I came home I did check myself fast in the mirror and I saw that my makeup is still on especially around my nose and my chin where I touched a lot today and I have a couple of thoughts like I said before we did the went 
for the day that I have hate love relationship with this foundation and I do want to make it work a little bit better. It held up tough day, fantastic. This part looks amazing, flawless, beautiful, looks so stunning. Around here, it looks dry. It did kind of settle into my fine lines. Here, where I try to touch up and here on my nose, it looks cakey and on my chin, it looks like a disaster. It looks heavy, it looks cakey, I hate it. So it did cra crack a lot and uh, my pores are so visible here on the bridge of my nose. But actually everything else, except of course here, but everything else looks good. So I think I'm going to try this foundation tomorrow again and apply a very thin layer with my Beauty Blender, but maybe also mix it a little bit with the um, face oil if I find any face oil that I have, just to kind of make it more runny. I want to make it more light because this is very thick foundation and I think it held up. I didn't touch up. I don't look like a greasy mess. Uh, I don't feel like I have makeup on and I'll be touching my face a lot today and I mean it looks good after 11 hours. I can't complain about that. The nose here on the forehead down on the chin looks like a disaster but that looked like a disaster when I applied the foundation because of the concealer which I can't really understand how is that possible. How could it remove, how could the concealer remove the foundation? I don't know. This, uh, I don't know. Such a strange foundation. But it's such a lightweight, it held up pretty good the whole day. And my, it looks fantastic. Sometimes the foundation settles into my line and it didn't do that. This part looks flawless. I kind of love and hate it at the same time. Um, but I do think I need to apply a thinner layer and uh, moisturize a lot before and maybe mix it with another. We'll, we'll try, I'll try. I don't, uh, I think it's worth trying out, but it's not very easy foundation to work with though. I don't know, I just, I, I do like how it looks on my skin. When I was trying on clothes, clothes today, when I look at myself in the mirror, it looked so beautiful. I was so happy with the results. And my face looked, my face looked like I had a filter on, except of course this part, but you do need to come very close to see that. Uh, so I'm going to go and take on my makeup. I'm so tired. And definitely going to try to play with this foundation a little bit more. It stayed like this for 11 hour, hours. Um, I don't know. Maybe this concealer does not work with this. I don't know. But we'll see. But guys, that was everything. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And this was a very interesting video. I hope I see you in my next one. I love you all. Bye.